<laughs> now to a heartwarming story. This is of a local doctor whose dedication to cancer care and passion for film actually landed him uh, a very unexpected role. All right, Fox News' Ryan Christopher has more this morning. What's going on, Ryan? Well, good morning there, ladies. So the story starts right here in New York City, but then ends up across the globe on the silver screen. I feel that my mission is to do everything I can for every patient to make things as best as, as it can be. Cancer doctor Gabriel Serra is the medical director of the chemotherapy infusion suite at Mount Sinai. Breathing is fine. Yeah. Yeah. No headaches. No, no. Studying medicine in Lebanon, France, and New York, Dr. Sarah has dedicated his life to helping other people heal, and one way is through music therapy. Just remember to smile. Just imagine that you speak Chinese and I speak Spanish, and we don't speak any language together. Music is a common language. If I play music, you'll understand what I'm playing. If you play music, I will understand you. So music is a universal language, and, and music allows you to express your emotions without having to say words. Just remember the times in Coney Island. Nathan's hot dog. <laughs> this is Denise. She's been fighting cancer and mourning the loss of her mother, who she spent much of her childhood with in Coney Island. I was meant to meet you today. <laughs> I really was, because only God knows how much I needed my mom. And there was no way I could remember her. Mm. I remember it. I have a different type of comfort in my heart right now that I feel I'm, I'm ready to deal with what's coming. The trained musicians are psychotherapists that will play different instruments for different patients based on their diagnosis. Beside the emotional component, psychological emo component that patients benefit from, I have seen pain improving with music. And this is de definitely proven. Between caring for patients, Dr. Sarah is a film fanatic frequenting the theater at Lincoln Center. One day we go and see a movie called Standing Tall by the director Emmanuel Berco. Following the film about rehab, Dr. Sarah met the French director at the stage of the theater. I told her that day, ma'am, would you like to go with me in the trenches of cancer? Berco accepted Dr. Sarah's invite, and a year later, she came to his office at Mount Sinai to study cancer care for her next film, Peaceful. Now we have been back and forth meeting, seeing each other, and I get an email from her, uh, Gabriel, I'm gonna surprise you but uh, we, we're ready to start, to start the movie and uh, we need a doctor for the movie and I think you are going to be a great actor. Wow. And, <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. An oncologist in real life and now in a movie. So then I found out that there was Catherine Deneuve, Benoit Magimel, yes, who are like, you know, very famous actors. <laughs> and of course they were helping me a lot. They were, they were supporting me. I would make mistakes many yeah. times, yeah. of course. I mean, yeah. but they were always supportive of me. But at some point, there was a, like a click in my head, something like a switch, where I realized that I didn't have to play myself. I had to be myself. Providing peace of mind to patients in New York and on the big screen across the world. Dr. Sarah adding so much authenticity and heart to the movie that he and the rest of the cast received an eight minute standing ovation at the Cannes Film Festival. And there it is, you hear that eight minute standing ovation for Dr. Sarah, who tells me he has no plans on becoming the Daniel Day Lewis of Dr. Actors. But ladies, you can watch the US film premiere of Peaceful on July 21st at 7 p.m. at the Stony Brook Film Festival at the Stoller Center for the Arts on campus. For more information, head on over to stonybrookfilmfestival.com. Ladies, we'll send it back on over to you. Incredible to see his work here in New York City, then ending up in a international film and receiving so much acclaim and, and helping so many other caregivers. That's yeah, so cool. That's great. Brian, thank you so much for introducing us to him.